So, here we are. We have these two basketballs. They both look the same, but you can't tell if there's a difference between the two. Sometimes we come to church just like that. We're dressed up, we look the part, but nobody can tell on the inside you're deflated. No one can tell that if you got hit, you wouldn't bounce back. So this month, we're gonna talk about bouncing back because it's important to make sure that you have the substance inside of you to be able to bounce back. So once you get hit, you don't just get hit and stay down, but you hit, hit, and you bounce back. Let's jump into this devotional. Good morning. My name is Minister Damian Caldwell, one of the ministers here at Evangelistic Center Church. And we're going to talk about this month bouncing back. So we're halfway through the year, and this year seems to be moving along pretty fast, doesn't it? Throughout the year, things tend to happen in our lives, and sometimes we take some hits. We take some blows. Some hits come along, and it causes us to stumble. And some hits come along, and they tend to knock us down. Knock us down so much that I'm not talking about you backslide or you leave God, but it knocks you down and it causes you to just reevaluate some things in your life. Take an inventory of yourself. And if you do happen to fall, God's grace will sustain you and lift you up and help you to bounce back. Psalms 37 and 23 tells us the steps of a good man are ordered by the Lord and he delighteth in his way. Verse 24 and 25 says, Though he fall, he shall not be utterly cast down, for the Lord upholdeth him with his hand. I have been young and now am old, yet have I not seen the righteous forsaken, nor his seed begging bread. What we need to understand is that our lives are not left to chance or fate, but they are under the watchful eye and direction of a loving and faithful God. This assures us that even when we face tough times, obstacles, or setbacks, God is there to hold us up and keep us from falling. If we do our part, which is to continue to delight in ourselves in the Lord, then God will continue to uphold us with his hand. These first two verses encourages us to trust in God's grace, his guidance, and commit our ways to him. It reminds us of the importance of living in alignment with his will and seeking his wisdom in all our decisions. It assures us that even when we face difficulties or make mistakes, God's hand is there to lift us up and to preserve us. We can find comfort and strength in God's sustaining presence that we are not alone. God is there loving us and holding us up with his hand. As long as we lean on him and his strength and rely on his faithfulness so we don't get hit. But if we do get hit, we'll bounce back. Job was someone who experienced some difficult times in his life. Job was living his life, minding his own business, doing what he does every day, taking care of his family, loving on God, obeying God's word. And out of nowhere, he gets hit with some major blows. He loses all of his children. His wife tells him to curse God and die. But in spite of all of that, Job said, I'm gonna remain faithful to God. And he said, though he slay me, Yet will I trust him. In other words, even if the worst possible outcome were to happen to me, I'll still trust in God. My hope is still in God. Job experienced some extreme hardships in his life, but he remained faithful to God. And in the end, he recovered all that he had lost and some with interest. Why do we continue to delight ourselves in the Lord? Because if we delight ourselves in the Lord, then God will stay faithful to us and he'll reward us in the very end. So this month, let's talk about the bounce back. We'll discuss the the impact of delighting ourselves in the Lord. We'll talk about the four components of being hit. And then we'll finish up with when you've been hit, after you've been hit, now it's time to pursue and recover all. So don't get stuck because you got hit, but let the force of the hit 
cause you to bounce back. Because the harder you've been hit, the higher the elevation in your life. Let us pray. Gracious God, we thank you for your grace and for your mercy. We thank you for allowing us to even take a hit that you chose us to absorb that blow for whatever reason, because you found confidence in us. And like you said, Job can do it. You said we can take that hit too. And God, we thank you for strengthening us, girding us up, giving us what we need to bounce back in this day and in this time. And in spite of whatever afflictions we may face, God, we trust in you. And we believe that you're going to see us through whatever difficulties we may face, because on the other side of this, there is joy. On the other side of this, there is peace. On the other side of this, there is victory, because we will, in the end, bounce back. And God, we give your name all the glory, all the honor, and all the praise. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Tune in next week as we talk about the importance of delighting ourselves in the Lord. Be blessed and enjoy your life.